We all know we are in business unusual times. I believe that the key to be competitive and stronger in the market is to consider three important factors, taste, texture, and presentation. We are going to make chocolate cream mousse. In terms of taste, definitely delicious, yet not too rich. Texture, creamier, but light. Presentation, multiple times check. In previous video tutorials, I have shown you how to make milk foam, cream cheese, and also whipped cream. The downside to milk foam, which you would normally see on top of your cappuccino drinks, is that they are not stable. So what happens is that after a few minutes, it subsides. Now this chocolate cream mousse is stable for a longer period of time. You can keep it refrigerated and you can use it whenever you need to. Enough said, come and join me in my kitchen. For the ingredients, I'm going to use whipping cream. You may use any brand that's available. I'm just using here what is available to me. And then we are going to use white sugar. We're going to need chocolate powder, unsweetened. I am going to use a chilled bowl. So once again, what I do is I put this in the refrigerator just before I use it. And the reason for that is so that when you make your whipping cream, it'll be faster to stabilize. So let's have a look. So what I'm going to use here is my whipping cream. I need the whipping cream. Do not worry about the recipe. I am going to put it in the description box below. So let's get that whipping cream into my chilled bowl. And then I'm going to add my sugar. If you have powdered sugar, that's better, but this part of the world is not easy to get it. So just granulated sugar is good enough. And we're going to start whipping. A minute or two into the whipping process, you can stop and add your cocoa powder. The trick here is to get the right proportion of the cocoa powder. You don't want it to be too bitter. You just want, probably, you're only looking for a little bit of taste and color. At this point, all you want is to fold the chocolate powder in, the cocoa powder in. The reason why I am folding it in is so that when you start whipping, it doesn't fly all over the place. The texture at this point is very thick. That's why we are going to add our fresh milk. Whip it for another one to two minutes. Start on low speed. I would like to whip it a little bit more. So this is after whipping for about three to four minutes and the texture I think is just right. Not too runny and not too thick either. So I should stop right here. Well, once your mousse is ready, you may put it in a squeezy bottle or a pitcher for easy application. So this is our chocolate mousse. Not difficult to make, very simple. Now it's time to put it to test. I am going to make milk tea. And for this, I'm going to use a 16 ounce cup. I have a shaker here with ice because if you're going to put mousse, it's best not to put ice with a drink. So the ice must be melted before you put it in your drink. So now I'm going to put my tea in there. And then I'm using milk syrup, not creamer. And let's give it a shake. Now I wish I have boba. <laughs> I haven't made it yet. So it's just going to be plain all gray milk tea with chocolate mousse.
it's time to give it a try. Before you drink it, let the mousse blend with your milk tea a little bit. Ooh, it is that good. It doesn't even go down, even though you stir it. Okay, so it's going to be a chocolate milk tea. Wow, that is perfect. Look at how it's stable on top. You are looking for that texture. If your chocolate mousse falls at the bottom of your cup, that means the texture is not right. You might have to whip it a little bit longer. Cheers. I can't stop having it. Simply delicious. Chocolate mousse milk tea. Give it a try at home for your friends, family, and for your milk tea or coffee shop. As always, like and subscribe. Also, leave me some comments to let me know how everything is going for you. Stay tuned because I am going to show you more creamy toppings recipes. I'm going to show you creme brulee. I'm also going to show you how to make another version of my cream cheese topping and watch out for black forest cream mousse. So I'll see you again in my next video tutorial. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.